slow loading and laggy videos have a negative impact on user engagement. So how cool would it be if your videos automatically changed quality based on the user's network speed and CPU power? This is where adaptive bitrate streaming comes in. Adaptive bitrate streaming, or ABR, adjusts video quality in real time based on the user's connection and CPU capacity. So if a user starts watching a video, then changes connection from Wi-Fi to slow 3G, the video will still play, but at a lower quality. This means the video won't pause to load or buffer. You may have seen this already on popular video streaming sites like YouTube or Netflix, and Cloudinary supports this feature too. Let's go through how to set this up in your Next.js application using Next Cloudinary. To start off, we have a basic Next.js application already set up with Next Cloudinary. And we're using the Cloud Video Player component to play a video with this source, which just shows a video with some moving mountains. Ah, so relaxing. Right now, there's no adaptive bitrate streaming configured. So if we change the network speed, the video will still play at this same quality. To change that, we can add the source types property to our cloud video player component with an array containing a string of HLS. This stands for HTTP live streaming and it's a popular adaptive bitrate streaming format. We could also add another string to this array called dash, which represents MPEG dash, another adaptive bitrate streaming format supported by Cloudinary. Then we need to add a streaming profile using the transformation prop. This takes an object with a key of streaming underscore profile and we'll give it a value of HD. You can see a full list of streaming profiles in the Cloudinary documentation. And that's all the code we need to add. Now let's load up the app. And before clicking on the play button, we can change the network speed in the Chrome DevTools. Let's select a preset of slow 3G. Now, if we click on the video, we can see it loads for a tiny bit because of the slow connection and then plays at a lower quality. Sweet. Please note, you may have to do a empty cache and hard reload if you're testing this locally. In the next video, we're going to learn how to upload videos to Cloudinary using Next.js server actions.